So in this video, we are going to start a new topic on coordinate geometry 2. We are going to learn how to find the equation of a circle when the center and the radius is given. Also, we are going to talk about the equation of a circle when the center and one point on the circumference of a circle is given. Now let's start today's lesson by considering this circle. Assuming that we have a circle with a center c which has point a b and then also we have a point p on the circumference of the circle that is x y now the distance between p and c is called the radius basically the radius is the distance between the center of the circle and any point on the circumference of the circle now let's try and find the distance between c and p so the distance between c and p using the distance formula is given by the square root of x minus a all square plus y minus b all square now we can do away with the square roots by squaring both sides of the equation so this becomes cp square equals x minus a all square plus y minus b all square don't forget that the distance between c and p is the radius so r square equals x minus a all square plus y minus b all square now this is called the equation of a circle this is the equation of a circle now the center of the circle is a B so this is the coordinate of the center of the circle a B and the radius the radius is R now let's call this equation 1 so assuming that the center of the circle is at the origin assuming that the center of the circle is at the origin that is point zero zero then we are going to substitute zero zero in place of a and b so we say that r square is equal to x minus zero all square plus y minus zero all square this becomes x minus zero is x so that is x square y minus zero is y so that is y square so r square equals x square plus y square this is the equation of the circle at the origin also the general equation of a circle is given of the form x square plus y square plus 2g x plus 2fy plus c equals 0 now if we manipulate equation 1 then we can arrive at this equation let's call this equation 2 so given the equation of a circle in its general form we can find the center and radius of the circle so the center of the circle is given by negative g negative f and the radius of the circle is given by the square root of g square plus f square minus c so for equation 1 given the center of the circle a b and the radius r we can find the equation of the circle and then for equation 2 given the equation of the circle in its general form then we can find the center and then the radius now let's solve an example on each of them so let's try these two questions question 1 find the equation of a circle with center 4 5 and radius 3 and then question 2 Find the center and radius of a circle whose equation is 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 12x minus 8y plus 9 equals 0. So basically for the first one, we are going to find the equation of a circle when the center and the radius is given. And then for the second one, we are going to find the center and radius of the circle when the equation of the circle is given.
So let's start by solving question 1. So for question 1, we are told that the center of the circle, the center is 4, 5, and the radius is 3. Now from the equation of a circle, we know that r square is equal to x minus e all square plus y minus b all square. So we are going to substitute these values into this equation. We said that given the center of the circle, the center has points a, b. So our a is 4, we have b to be 5, and then we have the r, which is the radius to be 3. So this becomes 3 square equals x minus 4 all square plus y minus 5 all square. 3 square is 9, so we have 9 equals. Now this is the same as x minus 4 times x minus 4 plus y minus 5 times y minus 5. Now let's expand this expression. x times x, we have x square. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Negative 4 times x is also negative 4x. So this becomes negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Y times y is y square. Y times negative 5. Negative 5 times y is... So we have twice of them, so it becomes negative 10y. Negative 5 times negative 5, we have 25. Now let's transpose 9 to the right-hand side. So we have x square plus y square minus 8x minus 10y plus 16 plus 25 and then minus 9 equals 0. So this becomes x square plus y square minus 8x minus 10y 25 minus 9 is 16. So 16 plus 16 is 32. So this is how to find the equation of a circle when the center and the radius are both given. Now let's solve for question 2. So for question 2, we are going to find the center and radius of the circle whose equation is 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 12x minus 8y plus 9 equals 0. Now first of all, let's write down the general equation of a circle. So that is given by x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. We know that the center is given as negative g, negative f, and the radius is the square root of g square plus f square minus c. We will come back to this. Now the equation of the circle given in this question is 4x square plus 4y square minus 12x minus 8y plus 9 equals 0. Now we seek to find the values of g f and then c now before we can do that we need to reduce the coefficient of the x square and the y square terms to that of the general equation of the circle the general equation of the circle has the coefficients to be one and then one here we have the coefficients to be four and four so we are going to divide through by four so we divide through by four And then we are going to have x square plus y square minus 3x minus 2y plus 9 over 4 equals 0. Now let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. So comparing equation 1 and 2. Now let's compare the x term, the y term, and the constant. So comparing coefficients of the x term, we have 2g equals negative 3. So we divide through by 2, and then we have g to be equal to negative 3 over 2. Also comparing coefficients of the y term, we have 2f equals negative 2. We divide through by 2, we have f to be equal to negative 1. 
and then also for c c is equal to 9 over 4 so this is the value of c so we have gene to be negative 3 over 2 c to be 9 over 4 and then f to be negative 1. now we know that the center of the circle is given by negative gene negative f so in this case we have the center of the circle to be we have gene to be negative 3 over 2 so times negative 1 then we have 3 over 2 and then also we have negative f so negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 so this is the center 3 over 2 1 now let's find the radius so the radius r is given by g square plus f square minus c so we have g to be negative 3 over 2 so the square of it plus f to be negative 1 so negative 1 square minus c that is 9 over 4 so negative 3 over 2 square is 9 over 4 negative 1 square is 1 and then we have minus 9 over 4 so 9 over 4 minus 9 over 4 is 0 1 plus 0 is still 1 so r is equal to the square root of 1 and then r is equal to 1 so we have the center of the circle to be 3 over 2 1 and then we have the radius to be 1 so this is how to find the center and radius of a circle if the equation of the circle is given now let's look at how to find the equation of a circle if the center and one point on the circumference of a circle is given now let's do that by looking at this question find the equation of a circle which passes through the point negative 4 1 and has center 1 5 now let's solve this question so we are giving the center of the circle to be 1 5 and then we have a point on the circle that is negative 4 1 we have a point on the circumference of the circle now we know that the general equation of a circle is given by x square plus y square plus 2g x plus 2fy plus c equals 0. Now we also know that the center is given by negative g negative f. Now we seek to find the values of g, f and c so that we can write down the equation of this circle. We have the center given to be 1 5 and then we know that from the general equation of a circle the center is given by negative g negative f therefore we say that g is equal to negative 1 by comparing and then f is also equal to negative 5 so we know the value of g we know the value of f now let's substitute these values into the general equation of a circle so that is x square plus y square plus 2 times negative 1 x plus 2 times negative 5 y plus c equals 0 let's simplify we have x square plus y square minus 2 x minus 10 y plus c equals 0 now from the question we were given the point negative 4 1 so we are going to substitute negative 4 in place of x and then 1 in place of y into this equation so this becomes negative 4 square plus 1 square minus 2 times negative 4 minus 10 times 1 plus c equals 0 this way we can find the value of c negative 4 square is 16 1 squared is 1 this becomes plus 8 and then minus 10 plus c equals 0 16 plus 8 is 24 plus 1 is 25 minus 10 is 15 so we have 15 plus c equals 0 we transpose 15 to the right hand side we have c equals negative 15 therefore we have gene to be negative 1 f to be negative 5 
and then c to be negative 15. so the equation of the circle passing through the point negative 4 1 and has center 1 5 is x square plus y square minus 2 x minus 10 y minus 15 equals 0. so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video